Hello friends, so today what we're going to do, or tonight what we're doing, is uh, adding to our big O of N playlist that we've been uh, working on. And so we've looked at linear uh, time, we've looked at constant time, there's one other time that we need to look at before we get into uh, building out some data structures, and then we'll move on to algorithms and thinking of those kind of things, but right now we there's one more thing that we need to look at. So O of N squared. So this is obviously uh, a much slower runtime and this is something that you want to avoid, but let's let's take a look at something. So let's say that we have an array here. We'll just go const r equals and then we'll just put three letters A and then B and then C. Now let's say that what we wanted to do was log out all of the possible combinations of these, right? So let's just say that you had a function called log all and that function will take in an array and what that function does is let's use two for loops we'll say let i equal zero i less than r dot length i plus plus and then let's do a j here so let j equal zero j less than r dot length j plus plus Okay, so now we have two for loops, two nested for loops. So all we want to do right here is just console log out in like a little array, a uh, r at i and then r at j. And if we do that, right here we'll just call it, we'll just say uh, log all and we'll do that r. And right up here, just so we'll know what it is, let's uh, what the count will be, let's go let count equals zero and then in here after we log every time we're going to add to count one and then here we'll just return count right uh, well actually let's console log that okay so let's take a look we have three elements here now let's log all these pairs with nested for loops and see what happens here so we go uh, node three dot and then here we go okay so you can see it logs all the pairs, obviously A, A, B, B, blah, 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 all the way down to CC. But you notice that it has nine outputs. It, it has, it, it did nine operations. So if we have three elements and it did nine operations, if we had four, it would, or <laughs> it should be a C right here, A, B, C, D. Um, so if we had four elements and run it again, you can see that our count will be 16. So what this means is that the basically each time that you each time that you add an element your output is going to increase exponentially so this o of n squared whenever you whenever you're writing an algorithm and you end up with an o of n squared time that's usually suboptimal you're usually doing something wrong when you do that a good sign that you're doing something wrong normally there there are cases where you need some nested for loops but for the most part you want to avoid them a nested for loop is usually 99% of the time going to be an O of n squared time complexity. Now the difference between having two nested for loops and then just two loops, so if I have one, I'll just write pseudocode, uh, I have a for loop that does some loop stuff and then underneath that I have another for loop that does some loop stuff. These, since they are not, these two for loops, since they're not nested but they're actually on the same uh, indentation level, this would be one, two in, so two operations here, rather than in, uh, in squared, which is what this is right here, right? So um, that is basically O of n squared time complexity. You want to avoid it. Nested for loops, you want to avoid them. You've seen why. You see the output grows exponentially each time you add an element. So that's it for O of n squared time complexity. So we've looked at constant. We've looked at linear, and now we've looked at exponential, <coughs> the three main different time complexities. Now what we need to do is move on to doing some basic data structures and algorithm stuff, and that's what the next videos will be like coming up. So hopefully we're done with all. There are other big O notation things that we're going to look at, like uh, O of n log n, O of log n, but those will come in later. For right now, just having these three that we have, we can get to work on building out some arrays, some hashes, some linked lists, things like that. And then after that, we'll go into methodologies for solving algorithms and then building out algorithms. So stick with it and uh, hope it helped. Take it easy.